All right, all guys, or at least most of the guys that I know, are always trying to get a little bit more out of life. Like, how can they press themselves more? How can they get themselves to do more things, be more motivated, maybe date better, have a better just station in life, or maybe make some more money? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the things that you can do in your life so that you can have more power to leverage towards the things that you want. If I know anything about you, you're probably a liar. What do I mean by that? Probably not getting clear about the facts of today. Like, where are you at today? Like, truly. And most guys don't want to tell the truth about themselves. Most people don't. And so what ends up happening is we put ourselves on this false lift, this false place of like, I'm actually a little, I think I'm better than I am. And then it'll tell the truth of where they're actually at, which is down here. For instance, say you're a guy who his relationship's falling apart. He's going to tell himself, it's not that bad. It's probably fine. When in reality, his wife's cheating on him and leaving him. He's down here and he's like, well, you know, I probably still have some hope. It's, I'm really, not, I'm not done here. I'm actually here. He doesn't realize that like he's already put all the nails in the coffin of his marriage. And most guys do this. They delude themselves. They don't want to tell the truth of who they are and where they're at. They get overweight. They don't want to tell the truth of themselves about the body and the health that they are lacking. Or maybe that they're not making enough money. Maybe they're having all these financial problems in their life and they don't want to tell the truth that they're just really unskilled and they're not as good as they think they are. Or maybe they don't want to tell the truth about their lack of personal worth, that they don't feel like they really matter in the world. So they keep selling for this job. They won't start that business. They won't go approach that woman. They won't have that collision with their wife. They won't tell their kids no. And so people want to be their best self, but they can't even tell the truth about themselves or where they're going in their life. And they live on this false lift. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. And they tolerate all this bullshit they should not be fucking tolerating. And so if you want to become your best self, we have to first become intolerant of the stuff that we're doing. Drop that porn habit. Drop that addiction. Drop all the drinking. Actually have the collision with your wife. Most people don't want to do this. So then most people don't have a good life. Most guys are not willing to do what it takes to have the best life. They hide from themselves. They lie to their wife. They lie to their friends. They lie to God. And they wonder why they have nothing in life and why they're poor and broke. And their wife's leaving them. And they have this kind of friend, Bud Light Bill, down at the bar. And that's the only conversation he truly has. And his kids are completely isolated. He doesn't talk to them at all. They just He just uses the screens as a babysitter. Wasting his life away. Just waiting for his health to leave him. He hits 55, he looks at it, the doctor starts prescribing him heart medication. He's like, well, I guess I'm just getting old. I guess this is just where I'm at now. Let's just ignore the fact that he hasn't exercised for the last 30 years of his life. And he say, well, I guess this is just what happens. I just get old. And he won't tell the fucking truth of where he's at. And so who are you? Are you actually telling the truth about yourself and where you're at in your life right now? Because if you're not, if you're this guy who's pretending that he is something that he's not, you can just expect to get more of what you have. And it'll probably get worse. Because the thing is, is that you can be in this situation where you can have everything fall away from you, and you can live in this life of default and it's gonna be painful, or you can decide to move forward and tell the truth and you're gonna have some pain to change your habits and change your lifestyle. But at least on one side of this pain, at least on this side of this pain, it's by default. You don't have to do anything, right? It's still gonna suck. Or you can have this other pain, which you can make a decision and you can have the fruit of the endeavor. You're gonna be in pain either way. So why not pick the fruit of your endeavors? the one that gives you what you want. But the fact is, is you can't get there unless you're willing to tell the fucking truth. If you can't tell the truth, you will never be your best self because, well, unless you're clear on the facts of today, you're not gonna know where to go forward. You need an accurate baseline for where you're at today and then measure against that baseline. And then from that point forward, now we know where we're trying to go and where you're at today, right? Now we can make a plan. So the first thing, again, tell the truth of where you're at today. Now, where do you wanna go? You're clear on where you're at. You put yourself in this pit. It's probably hard to look at that stuff. It's probably very hard to take an honest look at yourself and where you're lacking in your life and the things that you know you should be doing. And you're not doing it for me. And you're not doing it for your wife. You're not doing it for your kids. You're doing it for yourself, right? Because if you're not there for your kids, the guilt and shame will eat you alive. And if you can't be there for your wife, she'll leave you. She'll find another guy who'll do it better than you. Most guys that go through a betrayal situation, they're not upset that their wife left them. They're upset because reality is smacking them in the face, that they ignored reality so much that they can't ignore the consequences of reality. The fact that he fucked up for a long time and now he has to pay the piper. And so oftentimes guys aren't even really looking to make a change in their life. They're just looking for reconciliation. Hey, I'm not as bad as I really was, am I? And so getting clear on the facts of today, then you can start thinking about what you want. And any guy that comes to, the, comes to me in coaching experience or they want to change, make a change or a transformation in their life, I have to say, well, what is it that you actually want? And it can't be what your wife wants, and it can't be what your kids want, and it can't be what your boss wants or your clients. It has to be what you want. And if you can't tell the truth about what you actually want, then we go back to step one and tell them the fucking truth. If you can tell the truth about what you want in an honest fashion, 
then maybe we can make some transformation and change in your life. Maybe you'll have a compelling reason why to do anything. Now I know for one thing with men is they're not gonna transform unless they're absolutely forced to. And that's the problem. Why are we waiting for everything to blow up and burn up around you before you actually make a change? Why are you waiting for you have that triple bypass before you go hit the gym? Why are you waiting for your wife to leave you before you decide you're actually gonna take note of the woman in front of you and how she's suffering or how she's berating you and becoming a battle axe and you just become weak and emasculated. Why are we waiting for that to happen? Why don't you make the change now? And so unless you have a compelling reason why you should change, and for most men, it's just this pain of the past, this pain of something that could happen to them, which might compel them forward into actually doing something different. If you're using that kind of pain, at least you're using something. So the second step is get clear on what you want. Like, what do you want, truly? If we can't get clear on what you want, we can't do anything. And so when I ask a guy, what does he want? Oftentimes the guy says, I don't know, I have no idea. Or they'll say, well, you know, I'd like to just be happier and I'd like to be calmer. And it's like, okay, that's really vague, dude. Like, how are we gonna make that happen? Why don't we get really clear on what you want? What kind of business do you want? What kind of life do you wanna live? What kind of purpose do you wanna push? What kind of family do you wanna have? Like specifically, how do you operate as a family? How do you talk to each other? How do your kids spend their time? What sports do they play? What kind of relationship do you have with them? How do you engage with your wife? How many times do you have sex? Are you both fit? Are you both excited to see each other? Do you have deep, meaningful conversations? Do you put God at the center of your relationship? Do you even have, have you even thought about having a relationship with God? Or are you too ashamed to even address that? Do you even deal with your emotional problems? Do you even, you get the point. What is it that you want? Unless you can clearly define it, and I recommend making a list. You know, a bucket list is a good place to start. Why? Because these are the things you want to do before you die, which means we can backwards figure out what do we have to do to make sure those things happen. That could be one way of approaching it. I mean, there's a thousand ways to approach it, but the clear thing is, is that if you get clear on what you want, then we can change what's happening now. All right, my brother, we've gotten really intense in this video, and I hope, I hope you're taking it to heart because most people are completely asleep in this world. They don't wanna look at their life. They don't wanna look at where they're going. They're not striving for anything better they're not trying to be calmer. They're not trying to be happier. They're just trying to get past to the next day, waiting for life to consume them in this level of mediocrity, mediocrity isolated in their pain. They don't feel like they matter. They don't feel like they can make change. And they've been told to sit down and shut the fuck up their entire life. But you are not gonna do that. You are gonna change. You're gonna do something different. In fact, you probably shouldn't just change. You should probably transform completely into a different kind of guy, a different kind of guy who operates differently. So how do we do that? Well, get clear on who you want to become, and then let's start working to transform that. That's the bridge. All the parts and pieces of what you should be doing day in and day out, your habits and lifestyles. And if you want to know how to elevate yourself as a man with all the specific parts, go to this video here. And this video might be a little preachy, but man, I have to say, I see this every day, and I'm in this space where guys are like at their lowest point all the time, helping guys go from broken to badass, and I see it. And it's this lifetime of just ignoring, ignoring telling the truth about what's really going on in their life. Most guys don't want to tell the truth. And because of that, they can't even envision a better future. They, they've completely riddled with guilt and shame. They don't know how to do anything different. And so you, as a man operating differently, is going to do something different. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to hear more about this, hit subscribe. I love you, brother, and I know you can fucking do it, and I'll see you in the next one.